Alright, Shalom, all praise to Yahweh of Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the elect, the house of David. As you can see, this is off of Russia today, it said watching terrorism videos could result in a 15 year jail term. All right, so um, it says people who watch terrorist propaganda online could face up to 15 years behind bars. Home Secretary Amber Rudd has announced in a move designed to tighten laws tackling radicalization, okay? Um, speaking at, uh, conservative, at the Conservative Party, conference on Tuesday, Rudd said those found guilty of repeatedly viewing extremist material alright, such as bomb making instructions and far right propaganda could now face lengthy jail terms, okay and really uh, it's dealing with uh, speaking against white supremacy, okay because the Edomites are being called out. The real problem of the earth is being addressed. And um, this is what's coming down the pipe. And uh, this is the straight gate a lot of people are running from. Because this was our job in the latter days through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We uh, were to expose Esau. Is he will be made bare through the prophets. Um, as it says in the second Thessalonians, he who's coming is after the working of Satan. He will be exposed. The man of sin would be revealed. And now you see a heavy vibration of the Edomites. It's out in the earth. People are really recognizing the evil grip that has taken hold of the planet earth and uh esau's fighting back esau's not going down without a fight and he's gonna uh he's going he's, it's gonna get tricky uh to be in the position that we're in but as we know according to the scriptures you know the lord is gonna lift up a standard you know because esau's coming all right esau's coming and i got a i got a scripture for you devils when you come Yahweh our power is gonna is gonna lift up a standard, man. All right, it says the new law will extend an existing ban on downloading and storing content onto a PC repeatedly, watching it on sites like YouTube. Okay, see this? Um, and this here, what we're doing is considered uh, terroristic. Um. According to what Esau is all about, when the true terrorist is white supremacy, the, the 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 power structure that has terrorized everything is Edomite supremacy. Okay, along with the rest of you heathens, man. And our people have learned the behavior of you Edomites, and they're the same way. They just do it in the hoods and their neighborhoods. But what niggas do in the neighborhoods, you real niggas. You chief niggas, you do it all around the planet Earth, man. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they do it on small levels. You do it on large levels, but use them and exploit them and present them to the world as the problem. But now things are flipping. And according to Deuteronomy 33 and 29, our enemies are being found out to be liars. And everything's going wrong, and the Edomites are their backs are against the wall, and they don't know what to do. So they're gonna use every bit of their sword, which a part of their sword is their propaganda. All right, as it says in Isaiah ten and one, woe to him that decree unrighteous decrees. This is an unrighteous decree because he can just make something up, pull it out of his ass, and make it into a law. According to to what he or or how it how it harms him, you know something that makes him uncomfortable, then he can just deem it terroristic, 
presented on the news as terroristic the 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 uh the 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 chocolate uh the m and m uh diet coke drinking hot dog infested Americans are gonna eat it up just like they've eaten up everything but even a lot of these Americans are perplexed and confused and don't know which way to go so we're on YouTube it says sites like YouTube I want to make sure those who view despicable terroristic content online including jihadi websites and they try to cover it up with, you know, uh, ISIS. It's like ISIS took responsibility for the shooting in Vegas. Somehow the Edomites linked to ISIS. It's never just the Edomites. It's never that they are uh, physically programmed. It's in their DNA to just be wicked. It's always got to be tied to something else. But when it's us, it's, it's something that needs to be talked about, you know. Um... But they're coming at us, okay? As it says in uh, Psalms 37, they they shoot at the, the perfect in secret. In a roundabout way, they're coming, all right? Changes will enable police and the security service to keep peace with modern patterns of internet use, so they're watching everything you do. They already have profiles on people, okay? If you're not under the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shadi and you're through, all right, because it's about to get ugly out here of Internet use and intervene earlier in an investigation, given the speed which online radicalization has taken place. The defense of reasonable excuse would still be available to academics, journalists or others who may have a legitimate reason to view such material. Yada, yada, yada. Rudd ramped up her calls for internet giants such as Google, Facebook to do more to tackle, scourge online extremism. And if you notice, the video's been going up all funny. When you load in videos, you notice it's different. It may stop. It's 74% uh, stay there in the video. You know, they're, they're, they're viewing these things and, you know, putting them in categories within their algorithm. And... Brothers, believe me, they're coming. Okay. She criticized firms such as WhatsApp for developing encrypted software that has held back authorities from investigating suspicious activity. Okay, so now they're going to come at WhatsApp because WhatsApp is encrypted to where it's hard to get into it. You can't really spy on people, you know, but, you know, although we know they're looking anyway, but. They're, they're calling for them to open things up pretty much your whatsapp information and everything is going to pretty much just be out there for the open there's no privacy here in this place this is another reason why we should need to get the hell out of here you know let's uh watch a little bit of the video uh this government has said to end said end-to-end -end encryption has kept it from reading terrorists and criminal messages. And it's a lot of people on uh, WhatsApp. And um, Esau is going to promote it as though terrorists are using WhatsApp to do their dirty work. You know, which no, Esau's the terrorist. Nobody's uh, after Esau. He's pretty much in the, got the power. He's got all the gold, you know, but... He he notices the grip that's he's he's losing grip on everything, you know, and he he's be, being found out to be a scoundrel, you know. Let's listen to this. The Home Secretary Amber Rudd has just summoned these technology giants to see her. Google, Microsoft, Twitter, Facebook, which of course is the parent company of WhatsApp, which is at the center of this uh, saga. And the Home Secretary wants to grill them over 
well, extremist online content, but also more controversially over fears that encrypted messages are being used by terrorists in order to evade the authorities. Mm -hmm. um, and this kind of Amber Rudd versus WhatsApp and the technology industry saga really started after last week's Westminster attack when it emerged that the attacker, Halid Massoud, had been using uh, the WhatsApp messaging platform just minutes before he plowed into this crowd of pedestrians on Westminster Bridge. But because those messages are encrypted, just like on many other similar uh, online messaging apps, uh, the police weren't able ostensibly to access the messages or to find out who uh, he had been messaging. That clearly hindered the investigation, according to the Home Secretary. She wasn't happy about it. This was what she had to say. Take a listen. There should be no place for terrorists to hide. We need to make sure that um, organizations like WhatsApp, and there are plenty of others like that, don't provide a secret place for terrorists to communicate with. And these Edomites, they just get on the news and they're, you know, and, they're, and they are the terrorists, man. The witchcraft that they've put over the world is, is, is immaculate, man, because no one is looking to them as the problem, really. But, you know, people are starting to. That's why they're getting all scared. And, you know, but look at them. They really act like they're just so innocent and they're the victim, man. <laughs> like people need to look into those. The, the When you look into what these people are doing, you know, the, you go into the emails, Pizzagate. You know, all sorts of wickedness, child pornography at the uh, the Pentagon, the Roman Catholic Church, mass uh, ex extortion, theft, you know, all sorts of things are in these people's bones, man. You know, and when it comes out, everybody just ignores it, man. But but now people are starting to look at your ass, man. Because you full of you full of it, man. You really are full of shit, man each other. But the Home Secretary's statements there appear to diverge from the information that we're getting from Scotland Yard in terms of the attacker's background and what they uh, seem to know about him, the picture that they've oh, built up about the him. The same old propaganda, the same old bullshit, man. You know, you know, this, this place is finished, man. And you Edomites, we know you coming. We know that you're coming. But guess what? When you come, okay, our power has a special, that's what, you know, Esau know who we are, so he ain't gonna just run up. He's got to create a narrative and some propaganda and, uh, <laughs> oh boy, this is, uh, so he can feel justified because he Esau's a legend in his own mind. You know, whatever he whatever he makes up. It goes right. Revelations 20 and 7. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations. Now, who's Satan? Who's Satan? Who who's the adversary? OK. Just like on the right hand side you have the Messiah Yahawashai, on the left hand side there's Satan, and the Most High controls both energies. But Satan has his children, just like Yahawashai has his children, his his the ones who the Lord gave to him. Okay, the children of Israel. Okay, starting with the elect, and and on the left hand side Satan has his children, the the nation responsible for doing the works of Satan are the wicked, the Edomites. Okay, this is biblical. We can show you. So Satan, after the a thousand year period where in the uh, so-called Dark Ages, the Byzantine Empire, where he was put down and they suppressed that history, which you Edomites, you don't follow true history. And I'm going to show a video where this lady, she may be an Israelite, but she curses you so-called, you Edomites out. She's a, she's a so-called white woman. She said, white people don't follow to true history, you know? They they pretty much just make it up as they go. They're, they're, they're really a, a bunch of satanic people, okay? So Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, okay? Around the 13, 1400s, the Medici family, they came from out of the caves and 
it was what you call the Renaissance period, the rebirth of who the Edomite. OK, as it said in Malachi, Esau said he will build, but the Lord will tear down, you know. This is a part of their building, you know, they're rebuilding all the way up here to America, you know, starting with the Greeks, the Romans, you know, and then you had the intermingling, the fall, you know. Hey, man, our people were ruling, man. Now, it says, and when he's loosed out of his prison, he shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. And is that not what this group of people is doing? All right, who's ruling the world? The Rothschilds, everything's a deception. Education, money, food, relationships, everything. Water, it's all a deception. He's deceived the four corners of the earth, man. And everybody is pretty much anti-Messiah, okay? It says, Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle the number as whom as the sand of the sea. And this is what's happening. Gog and Magog represents Russia, who is a big, uh, 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 piece of the puzzle all right in world war three which is the battle of armageddon according to the scriptures you look at an ancient map gog and magog all right are located where up in the area of uh russia armenia and so forth meshach and tuba all of that is in that area okay and they're gonna do a mighty work and they're 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 providing these particular nations with missiles for what? For the destruction of America, man. All right. And it says, and, and, and they went up and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the saints about. And this is what they're about to do. OK, they're about to compass the saints about in the beloved city. And who's the beloved city? The elect. What does the word beloved mean? OK. Uh, 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 in, in the Hebrew. David, all right, Dawad, all right, Dawada, all right, the beloved city, the saints, the elect, they are going to compass us about, okay? As it says in Revelations 12, okay, real quick, Revelations, the 12th chapter, okay, in 17, it says, and the woman was wroth with the and the dragon, which is the biblical Edomites, when you read this chapter, was wroth with the woman. Jeremiah 6 and 2, didn't the Lord said he likens the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman? Okay, starting with the elect. All right. So the dragon was wroth with the woman, which is your so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. But this is more so talking about the elect. He's going to get a lot of you out of there, but he's going to come after us, man. It says, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. What's the remnant? Okay, that small vine that's going to be left. Okay, what did Isaiah say? If 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 the Lord didn't leave a remnant, we would be as Sodom and like unto Gomorrah. We would be destroyed. So the Lord left the remnant. Salakia. All right, so that he can establish us in righteousness. And Esau knows that according to prophecy, so he's going to try and come ruin the prophecy, okay? So the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh, I mean, of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, okay? So he's coming after those who are on the planet Earth doing the work, pushing his truth, prophesying. He's going to deem you a terrorist, okay? And he's going to deem people who listen to you terrorists, meaning, all right, he's going to try and stop this truth, okay? So, I got a message for you, Edomites, okay? When you do that, in the fullness, although you may get some of us, all right, it says, hold up, it says, and they went up, Revelation 20 and 9, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven to devour and devour them, okay? 
It's a fire is going to come out of heaven man, and devour you. Okay. Missiles, chariots, <laughs> volcanoes. All right. And everything else is going to be used in, in destroying you. Okay. And the devil that deceived them. Okay. You Edomites was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone with a beast. Okay. The NATO, the EU and the false prophet, the Roman Catholic Church. All of these different idol, all this idol worship and this madness being pushed shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. All right. So the bottom line is, all right, and that's not talking about hell. That's talking about nuclear destruction, fire on the earth from the chariots. You know, it's going to consume your your power structure, man. And this is going to be <laughs> this is place is going to be a desert forever, man. OK, well, foul beast. But Esau is coming with it. He's not playing any games, as we saw that article. He's planning on doing big things. He got big things planned. You know, so does your how about Shemiel Shai. Hopefully, I will edify all praise to you. How about Shemiel Shai? Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.